Hey there gorgeous, hope you're having a great day. It's such a joy to see you. In this video, I wanted to share some of the top favorite lipstick combos, lipsticks that I have really been enjoying off camera and that I've been wearing consistently. And this is one question that I get asked a lot about is what's on your lips? What are you wearing? I even get stopped in stores, if you can believe it, which I'll talk about that a little bit more at the end of the video. But it's not going to be a long video, just yeah, let's hop into it. The first lip product I have to rave about because I love, 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 love it is this lip liner from Believe Beauty. This is the one called Barely There. I know you know this one. This is $5, okay? And it is one of the most beautiful, um, gorgeous colors because it's like this mauve rosy neutral and if I have a lipstick that is too light or that's just not really jiving well for me I just combine it up with this lip liner and pff, instant transformation so I was in the store recently and I had I was looking for a replacement for covergirl's honeyed bloom which is one of my most favorite lip colors but they discontinued it so I stumbled across this lipstick from Maybelline this is the one called born with it beautiful pink I'm gonna show you what it looks like on my lips just by itself just so you can get an idea of what this lipstick looks like I love it love it the second that I saw it in the swatch online I said I gotta try that do you do that too where you're in the store aisle and you just go on your phone and you'll take a random lipstick and you'll just look up oh da 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 swatches <laughs> just to see what it looks like. But let me tell you what is so fabulous about this lipstick. When I combine it up with that Believe Beauty lip liner, this is the combo that I'm wearing in today's video, if, in case you're curious. This is such a beautiful combo. And it's been my go-to recently because I love the way that the Barely There lip liner darkens it a touch, but still keeps it within the confines of my natural lip color so it doesn't look overdone because that's how I am I like lip colors that are not too bright not too loud I I just yeah I know red lipsticks look great on me and all that but I, I just can't wear them in public <laughs> not usually the next lipstick that I have to rave about is this one from CoverGirl. This is the one called Caramel Kiss. Now, once again, I'll show you what this looks like on the lips all by itself so that you get an idea of the color. This is what I would describe as a peachy pink, and by itself, it's okay. Sometimes I've worn it like this, but again, if I take that barely there lip liner and I combine it up with this guy, woo hoo hoo hoo! Together, these two create a beautiful peachy mauve shade that oh my goodness is absolutely gorgeous and it's another one of my favorites that i've been wearing lately mommy gia can i tell you something what? it's almost my birthday it's three more days three more months oh three more months <laughs> yes. mommy mommy it's almost may yes it's, well, it's almost april almost uh, april okay april may june july yeah I thought I was in May the other day, so I mean, I can't blame her for getting excited. <laughs> <laughs> Clinique used to make a lip liner. They may still make it. I don't know. But it was very similar to the Barely There color. It was a mauve, and I remember I wore it with everything years ago. And then I just stopped buying it because I couldn't justify the price for the lip liner. But this, oh, yes, we're just done. You can find these at Dollar General, by the way. Now the last lipstick I have to rave about. This one is from e.l.f. and it's in the shade Effortless. Oh my goodness gracious. This is the most perfect neutral pink for me. It's not too light, it's not too dark. And every time I wear it, I always get asked, what is that? What is that color? And it, it is really, really great on those of us with fair skin. It's become a long-standing favorite. I love the formula of it, by the way. It's very creamy, smooth. And it lasts a pretty good amount of time on the lips too. But like I was saying in the beginning, there are times when I'm in the makeup aisle in the store and I will just have women stop and say, what is on your lips? How do I create that? And I was with a woman recently, it's so funny how this happens. And she was asking, what is that? And I took her to the Revlon display. It was the Revlon Take Flight shade, which is another one of my favorites. It's very similar to the e.l.f. one. And I was telling her, this one, this is the one that I love. And I was showing her how to pair it up with a lip liner and you know, all that. So she was very appreciative, but I just love, I love that 
these are lip colors that are flattering they're not to me they're not too loud they're not too bright and they look complimentary and how awesome is it when we can help each other in the makeup aisle i mean hello yeah <laughs> let's do more of that and since this video was so short i wanted to give you an update on things that i am working on i'm going to be starting two other youtube channels i'm currently thinking of how i want to build the content for those and i will probably have the content built a little bit up before i announce them but one of the channels i'm working on is a fitness channel kind of like a fitness journey because I've not been doing that great, honestly, personally, and taking care of myself. I just haven't. I mean, three kids at this age is very hard. It's very demanding. But they've gotten a little bit older and it's getting a little easier and I'm starting to find certain things that I can do that has been helping me. And so I'm at a place where I just want to lose the excess weight and I want to feel better. I do, I wanna feel better. So I'm going to be possibly documenting my journey on that on a separate channel. And then the other channel is faith-based content because I know there have been a lot of people that have been expressing interest in it. I have started sharing some of that on TikTok, but I know a lot of people are not on TikTok, so I'm going to be moving that over to YouTube also, so it will be in both places. So that's where I'm at, that's what I'm doing. I'm still gonna be creating content here as, you know, I feel led to do, but I just wanted to share that, you know, as we get older and as we move on in life, our um, brain fart. <laughs> interest. Interest. Change. We grow and we find that we are wanting to do other things and I still have a love for makeup but I love other things too and I don't feel like that they would really fit in with this channel. So yeah everything's gonna keep running but just letting you know where I'm at. I hope that this blessed you today, that it helped you in the event that you've been looking for a new lip color to try. I know many of you have the same coloring as me, so I hope that you did find this helpful today. I speak peace, love, and joy into you and into your home, and I look forward to seeing you again very soon.